yeah. page 8, about the 380 million stashed in Jersey to be returned. Uh, Michael, the only reason why this money has been recovered is because a foreign jurisdiction was involved. And we have seen time and time again when the corrupt practices of our political and governing class goes beyond the borders, it is possible to actually arrest it. When it is within here, it is not the, possible. It's impossible. Okay? So that here are people who we, have a, we are all in agreement. They stole 380 million. Mm. They are told to return. Okay? Michael, if you stole this phone of mine and I reported to the, to police, the police station, you would be in jail. Okay? Mm. You, will, you will not go to the police station and say, let me return the phone. Mm. It, 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 the law is going to take its course. Mm. But like we've said, this seems to be laws for two different people. And one wonders yeah. what really is stopping anything happening, especially because it's clear. It's clear. Who the culprits, who the culprits are. are. They're named it here. Is, they're named. Yes. Uh, it, 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 they've been named here and yes. abroad. Yes. And it's upon now the Kenyan uh, jurisdiction to do what they need to do. But yeah. for some reason or the other, it yeah. just doesn't happen. Yeah. And of course, the question then would also be, once this 380 million shillings is returned, yes. are we confident that it will actually be returned and go to the exchequer? Or what happens? Yeah, when, what happens? Yeah. So that if the authorities do not know who had stolen the 380 million, they can read the standard mm. on page eight. And the names, yeah, <laughs> the names of the people who stole the.